Hello everyone, Ash and Danny again. We um, still haven't got back to that, well, still haven't gotten to that tent camp at all that we were talking about last video. There's a few things going on at the race course so we can't sort of get in there, but it's plenty of time. In the meantime though, as you can see here, I've got a new toy, CTX 3030. Sweet. Which means Danny's got the F75. So, yeah, it's, um, it's good so far. I'll, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve, I think. It's much different to the Fisher. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, we've just come to our sort of usual spot, um, mainly to learn the new detectors. Me with the CTX and Danny with her new one. So we'll um, see what we come up with anyway, and we'll, um, we'll bring you in. Okay, so the first target here. Um, man, this thing's crazy with these tones. It's so different to the Fisher. So sweet sounding. It's a um, 1120. I'm completely new to this mine lab scale, so this is going to take me a while, but it's uh, not at the bottom of the screen, which from my little knowledge so far, it says it's not iron. Solid trace on it. Let's have a look here. It's pretty big, I think. I flipped the plug already for you because it's um, just so dry at the moment, it's really hard to dig. Uh, clock frame. Fantastic. That's good though, it's not iron. At the moment I'm just, um, yeah, happy to dig anything non-ferrous until I sort of learn the um, different conductivity ratings for the coins and bits and pieces. So, awesome. All right, we'll see what's next. Okay, so next one. Twelve twenty-five ish Very strong signal, very clean as well, so. I'll do this one live. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Excuse the shakiness. Bit off with the pinpointing, takes a bit to get used to compared to the fissure. <laughs> it's a gear. Someone's clock obviously um, bit the dust here. Bits and pieces everywhere. Crazy looking teeth on that thing. No worries. So what's next? Well, it's interesting the way these tones work. I had a, um, oh, wind blowing the hat everywhere. It's a very low conductor, but also low ferrous. And being new to this, I had no idea what it was. 13, 1201, 120, yeah. It's actually a piece of a Paris buckle. I figured being low ferrous was probably something good, but it's interesting. This one's incomplete, obviously, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve with this, I think, but it's good fun. Hello, let's see what's next. So come up with another um, sort of lowish number here, but a good signal. You just see the edge of it here, brass or copper. Oh, it's a piece of a lamp. Very good. Could be some um, marks or a date, patent date or something like that on there. So give her a clean and put in any details we find. Sweet. We're just going to head over to a, um, I suppose a less hunted area now and. See what we come up with. It's a place I've been over with the Fisher a lot actually, so it'll be interesting to see how this um, this new beast does over there. Pretty happy with it so far. 
Sweet. There we go. Sorry about the wind noise. It's um, yeah, pretty gusty here again today. Now, not knowing this scale, as I've said, can't be sure, but this is fairly high conductivity. The 35, 1235. Nice and repeatable. Solid signal, so I'll um, dig this up and we'll see what we come up with. I won't do it live, I'll bring you in shortly. <laughs> so I've discovered the uh, the tone and numbers for a roofing nail. Awesome. Well, that's a good one to know so I can avoid the bloody things in future. No worries. Hey, first coin. First coin with the CTX. And you can definitely tell when they're under the coil, it's um, very clear. Looks like a half penny. She's a Britannia. Oh, it's in good nick too. I won't clean that too much. 1889. Very, very nice. They always clean up really well from this place. I mean, it's bone dry most of the time. It's just really friendly soil. They don't seem to corrode much. Just get a really nice green sort of patina on them. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so next one's not what I expected. It was a funny sort of signal, so probably should have guessed, but it's an axe head. Didn't give a massive signal like the fisher would have. It was, um, yeah, it's strange. Anyway, not a bad one. Had some use. Cool. Let's keep going. So we're in an area here that's just um, just full of iron. There's obviously been a house here, but we've never actually found many coins or anything in this area. So I'm just going along, trying to pick these non-ferrous signals. And um, once I get my hat under control, um, got this little stud. It's nothing thrilling, but it is good to be able to pick out these little items amongst all this iron. Gives me sort of good confidence that we'll be getting coins if they are here. So, uh, yeah, I'll try and pull one out for you. I just heard the words silver coming from Danny, so I naturally came over here. It um, definitely has that look about it. It's very it's light. It seems to have some um, some hallmarks, maybe. Yeah, it's like something. W, w or VW is the... Um, Oh, I forget what it stands for. There's a line there. Someone might know what the marks are. We'll research it when we get home, but it's got some sort of a leaf pattern on it. Don't know. I don't think there's any more in the hole. It's a shame. Yeah. It's good that we got the bits with the hole marks, though. Yeah. Score. <laughs> All right, well, um, yeah, we'll check that out and subtitle it in. Come up with something here. I don't think it's anything too important. Pretty sure I wanged it as well, so it's lucky it was nothing flash. Looks like a watch piece again, or sort of a cover up something. Probably was screwed at these points. This whole area though is just full of non ferrous targets. I believe so anyway. If the detect is accurate, it has been so far. So, uh, which is interesting because we, as I said, we really haven't focused here much it just seemed to be iron so uh, yeah we'll hang around here the ground's full of crockery and stuff as well so it's obviously been a house here very cool Danny scored something else here it's looks a bit like a latch oh there she goes <laughs> yeah I don't know it looks like it's off a box or something maybe it kind of fits on there somehow mm. Shallow. Yeah. Hmm. It's definitely housey, isn't it? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, keep going. So I dug a um, pretty solid signal here. It's coin shaped, but that's about it. I think it's lead. Possibly. Not sure exactly what it is. It looks like a washer, but they usually they don't have this ridge around them, so I'm not sure that it is lead actually. It seems more solid than that. Anyway, nothing major. I'll keep going. 
Next one's just some melted lead. Big chunk. It's, um, yeah, you see all these um, bits of house brick around. Obviously old. So we'll keep on in this spot, but it is hard going. There's a lot of iron here. It's just a matter of picking out all these non-ferrous things, really, and seeing what you get. Once I get to know the um, all the IDs and things a bit better, it should be cooler. You can obviously pick them out, so very good. This next one is a 1233. But it's more the trace. I'm not sure if you can see the screen. No sort of deviation at all. Just a solid red spot. So let's see what we got. Ground here is a bit softer at least. So. I think I see it already. Saw some sort of shape there. Yeah, harmonica reed. These always give a good signal. Big solid piece of brass, you'd expect it to. Find a lot of this stuff. I've even found whole harmonicas before, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's keep going. So it seems that um, low ferrous, low conductivity on this machine is sort of equivalent to the, the 20 type signals that I, I dig on the Fisher, the foily signals. In this case it's a, it's a little hard to tell, it looks like a, um, a frame off a purse or something like that. Um, that's just a guess but it's got that kind of shape to it. I've found a few similar things, they curve around, you would have had the material underneath I guess. So, yeah, it's got a bit of a design on it as well. I'll give that a clean and piece it together for you. Danny's hooked up something else here. Bit of, ah, it's a big spoon. Big dessert spoon. Far out, it's huge. <laughs> you can see a bit of the silver plate on it. Hang on. Try not to chop your find in half. <laughs> Nice, complete as well. There you go. Far out, it's solid. Yeah, it is. Check that out. <laughs> it's got quite a lot of um, design on it, actually. Is it? Yeah, you can see sort of engraving or something. Big serving spoon. It's got those usual hallmarks. It's just plated, but yeah. Nice. Big one, big one, yeah. yeah. Massive signal. Mm. Cool. Well, there's nothing thrilling here, but I just thought I'd show you the amount of stuff here. Like, it's just crockery everywhere. Out of this one hole, tons of sheet metal, big piece of a, it's like an old decanter or something, and a cut glass sort of thing. Nails everywhere. Yeah, you can see why it's so hard to, um, so just pull anything out of here. So CTX is working overtime. <laughs> All right, Danny scored a nice old buckle here. Oh, it is cool. Mm. All right, it's a solid. Bit of steel, unfortunately. Yeah. Probably some markings on that too. Maybe. Awesome. Mm. So the next one here is another another piece of a lamp. So much of this stuff around. Big chunk of glass as well. Almost didn't dig this because it was such a huge signal. I thought it was just a piece of sheet metal or something, but I have to learn to trust this thing. All right, keep looking for these coins. Bounty's on it today. Took you a long time to learn this F75, didn't it? <laughs> something pretty with gems on it. What the hell is that? I thought it was in the hallway. It's just Piles of nails. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. That's nice. It's pretty. It's like a brooch or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. The back of it's sort of. Yeah, broken. it's probably would have had a pin or something. It's interesting though that the crystals or whatever they are are still in it. Yeah, normally they're missing. That's awesome. I think this is just all nails. Left 
Nice one. Got a nail, didn't you? Well, there you go. I might be asking for the F75 back pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. On to the next. Yeah. Okay, another signal here. Got a buckle. Found quite a few of these actually. This style or shape. Um, they're probably off a saddle or something like that. Give a really, really strong signal though. Very good. Oh, well, we're in the right area anyway. There's no jewels in mine, but you know, we have to make do. So the next one you can see in here, right next to some nails and garbage. Pretty big target. So um, I think it's a pocket watch back. It's been folded up though. I can't see any, um, any marks or anything on that, but I'll give her a go. Let me get back and see if there's anything written. No worries. Just dug a pretty crazy signal here. It, um, I don't know, it looks to be like a plate, enamel plate maybe. Seems to be a bit of colour on the bottom, it's got that kind of shape. It's flattened obviously, but... Yeah. Obviously I haven't worked this meter out yet. But, um, yeah, it's kind of cool anyway. One of those random things. Well, it was about time one of these came up on this hunt. Dug a sweet signal here and you can see it in the edge. The clock gear. Very nice. All right, well, I only need one per day. That's enough, thanks. Okay, well, still trying to understand this scale, but uh, 1140's got to be something good, right? With a dead solid little trace there. Excuse the noise. Just put this camera down a bit. Let's have a look. video got cut short these GoPros just have really terrible battery life there's not much else you can say um, it's quite easy to turn the wireless function on accidentally and that just drains the hell out of it um, if you turn it on and off it drains the hell out of it yeah so anyway I just thought I'd um, <clears throat> do a quick completion we're at home now obviously but um, CTX went really well today I like it um, much different to the Fisher. Um, it'll take quite a while to get used to, I think. Just the, the whole, the different scaling that it uses. Um, there's definitely a benefit to having a separate ferrous and conductive um, scale, I guess. Um, yeah, I didn't find a massive number of targets. I was really just trying out different settings and different discrimination patterns and things today, but did get a half penny which is quite nice um, after the camera went flat Danny got a nice penny <coughs> um, I'll put that in for you um, a couple of other small bits and pieces as well it was interesting um, so yeah CTX um, a few pluses to it rechargeable battery is a big plus um, no more double A's it does have a double A pack with it which is cool just in case um, <coughs> You know, this tracing system is really good as well, full colour and it gives you a, a nice um, pattern depending on the, the type of target, whether it's co-located with iron and that sort of thing, so that's really cool. And the overall design of the thing is awesome, carbon fibre, looks, looks just awesome. Um, the fact the cable runs inside is a plus, although well, I've got to say this is a really poor design here. Um, I'm not sure how much you can see of this camera, the light's quite bad in here. But this cable is under tension, it's a coil type deal, and this edge here is quite sharp, so this is forced against this sharp edge, and it just seems stupid to me. Uh, I'm going to have to get some rubber or something, or maybe cut out of an indentation to, to um, do something about that, it'll just cut through it eventually. Um, so that's one sort of oversight, I guess, on their part. The other 
is this arm cup. It's just a joke for something that's almost three thousand dollars. You know, after one hunt, there's th threads hanging off it, and the whole thing is built around this Velcro strap, which is just a joke. Um, the Fisher has a, a lovely metal cuff that you can just flex in, and it stays there because you're actually bending the, the cuff. Also means you can put your arm down through the top of it and pick it up really quickly. This thing, you've got to shove your arm through it to get hold of the, the handle, or undo this, and this will just shred instantly if you run doing it and doing it up every time not to mention the annoyance of it um, yeah but I mean they're all minor things I just I wish they'd do something about this they really should redesign it is my thought um, other than that though excellent machine really nice so um, yeah looking forward to a lot of hunts with this um, I'll try and do a hunt at a site we've been to a lot in the past, um, I'd consider it hunted out at the moment, with the fishes at least. Um, possibly with this as well, but I'll run it over it and see what comes of it. So it'll be a good test, I think. But anyway, um, I'll stop rambling on. Thanks a lot for watching again. And um, thanks to everyone who's subscribed. We'll um, hopefully get some sort of interest out of this video. There's no massively interesting finds, but yeah, that's metal detecting stuff. Happy hunting. See you next time.